My name is Megan Geilman and I'm here helping to make a mosaic for the Lansdowne Library. We're really excited. It's going to be uh, for the teen room. We're kind of redesigning it with Abby <laughs> and my husband's here helping. So. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm just a hired help here today. <laughs> We're spelling out Lansdowne Library, hopefully, that's the plan. We were able to gather a lot of uh, throwaway materials and create some art with it, so I'm really excited. We laid down some mortar. I went to Home Depot and talked to some guys and looked at some videos. Um, and we laid down the mortar on the wood. We first added the letters in dark pieces of tile and glass, and then we could go around it with light pieces so that the letters stood out. Um, and then we just filled in all the all the spaces, so that's how you get a mosaic. Howdy. I am gratefully that I can volunteer to come in to put help put these pieces together for this um, library. I'm just gonna help out. Uh, this is probably the like, one of the last uh, pieces of, of art that I do in 2011. This is awesome, and that I thank everyone here for participating inside of it. We are now wiping the grout with a wetted sponge, clearing away, hopefully, after a few processes, making it smooth. So I'm finding that it makes a lot more. I want to like push it somewhere so we use it. This is the mess before the masterpiece. Just slowly wiping away, lay, look, slowly layer after layer of the grout with our sponges until we have a pretty clear view. See how I, you can get up close maybe and can see how it reveals the tiles. We buffed and we buffed and we buffed and we're almost there. As you can see the ground is dried and now we're buffing away the surfaces so they, you know, the film that's left from the grout is coming off and all the big ones. See how it clears up really nice. And then it'll be done!